Hi, welcome to Rhonda Said. I'm Rhonda. I love saying things and I love seeing you here. So today I'm going to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe and please sit through the ads. They help me make a little tiny bit of money, which helps me further my beautiful channel filled with many palettes and lip glosses and snick snacks and <laughs> this and that. And today we're going to be doing a look with this World Cosmetics Royal Palette. And I just love the packaging. It's super cute. And it is really pretty in here, very soft. And we're gonna do some swatches. Yes, I just decided to call them swatches now. Um, I'll call them something else later on, I'm sure. I am on some weird allergy medicine, so bear with me. So there's no names. And we are going to start swatching right here. And I am really impressed with these glitters. The first two shades are very light and blend in with my skin nice and easy. Easy and cheesy. And then this color story is interesting. It's got blues and a green and purples. And these feel very buttery, very soft. And they are swatching very softly. And I'm interested to see what kind of look I can come up with on this palette. Let me try to build these up. Oh, I just messed them all up. But anyway, I just put colors on top of colors that didn't match. Oops, I told you, medication. And then here we go. I'm not swatching great. Like this is a very pale kind of fleshy color, but it's swatched very light, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to be a nice palette on the face. We will see what happens as we go along our merry little way, checking out this new palette, which I got from the mystery box that from um, Spoiled Cosmetics. And I'm going to start off in the crease with this real pale beigey shimmer. I don't mind starting off with a shimmer. I love shimmers and I will always gravitate towards them, but there's a lot of mattes in this palette. I'm not sure where I want to go. There's not, it's, it's very purpley and blue and that green is just there for fun, I think. Just a pop of fun color. Let's see. I don't like doing a lot of blue looks. I have, I have not enjoyed doing blue looks very much in my life of makeup. Um, but I will try to use some of them. Um, I think I'm going to start out. Oh, kitties quit it. Kitties fighting. It's what happens when you have three boy cats. They're all fixed, but you know, they still like to have a little, little trouble, like a little trouble for the mother. Uh, so I think I'm going to start with this color here, and it does not have a name. Oh, it's much better with a brush. Much better with a brush. That shows up nicely. And they feel really good in the pan, so, like I said, swatches are not everything. 
just gonna blend that out to the corner. That's super pretty. Then I'm going to go into this lavender color and put it on my lid. And it's a little shimmery purple. Which looks nice with that blueberry color. I wasn't sure how that was going to go. But it's just makeup. So if you don't like it, you can just wipe it off. And what's the worst thing to happen? That you make a not so cute look? That's all in the eye of the beholder. So that's super cute. Do I say super cute all the time? I think I do. I think I say super cute a lot. Uh, I'm going to go into this shimmery purple here. I can't help but I'm attracted to purples. Let's see if this will work. Put it in the crease a little. That's pretty. Isn't sure what to expect from this palette, but it's looking pretty cute. The colors are not dramatic, but they look nice. And I'm going to go uh, into this first color here, this off white shimmer to go underneath the brows. And it looks like I need to darken it up a little. So I'm going to go into this darkest, almost an eggplant color and darken up the outer corner. Oh, that's pretty. It's really nice. It didn't swatch great, but with a brush, it's nice. It's a nice palette. I wasn't that excited about it when I got it. I was just like, mm, so boring, but it's super cute. And I'm going to blend it out. It's just a pretty soft look. I'm gonna put some eyeliner on and I'm using a new eyeliner to give a drugstore a try. And it is the Hyper Easy from Maybelline. And it's a nice dark black color and it's supposed to be waterproof. And it's less than $10, it's like seven or eight dollars. This is only the third time I've used it. So I'm still getting used to it. Oh, I just darkened the end of my hair there. And it's gliding on really nicely. It's definitely giving my Too Faced Better Than Sex Eyeliner a run for its money. Nice and black, smooth lines, great little felt tip. And for a mascara, I'm going to use uh, Tom Ford. No, Marc Jacobs. And this mascara is called, I don't know. It just says Marc Jacobs and it's a mascara. I'm gonna give it a go. Let me angle this a little. And it's not bad. I got it free as a bonus from a minimum purchase at Sephora. Looks like I've got some mascara smudges, so I'll go in with a Q-tip and get those real quick. 
but it's a pretty, pretty mascara. Got a little smudge there under the eye. And then for the lip, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go a little crazy. This is something I got from, shoot, where did I get it? I don't remember. It was an add-on. It was an add-on from, from BoxyCharm. And this is supposed to be like a purple lip, lip stain. It's a beautiful color. It smells really good. And that just looks really pretty with this. And this is from Kaja and it is in the color What does that say? Push. Color Push from Kaja. And it's just a really super cute look. And this is the Royal Palette from Spoiled Cosmetics. And it's much better than I expected. So I hope you have a great day or day of your choice. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you real soon. Thanks.